Tani here from Sister Tea and Coffee. Today I'm here for our latest episode of Have a Tea with Me. And today we are going to be talking about um, probably one of our more popular teas, our American, Thai American, sorry, our Thai American black tea. Then we're going to be talking about our, you'll have to help me with the name here, the chocolate strawberry Sunday black tea. You heard me right. And then one of my favorites, our China Lace White Tea. And our China Lace White Tea went away from our menu for a short time. And we had beer rioting on our hands, so we brought it back. And then I was happy because it was really good. So let's start with our American Thai. Oh, Thai American, which is one of my favorites. And tell us about the flavor of Thai American cinnamon and orange peel. Yes. Oh, and look at the tea. We have the tea leaves here again for us. So you see the beautiful black tea leaves there. And these little lighter bits that you see are pieces of orange peel. Um, and there's also little pieces of cinnamon bark in there too. Yeah, and here's a little swirl in here. Oh, and a little swirl. So yeah, the little mm -hmm. clove. So it's a very nice tea. I don't do a lot of the cinnamon. I don't like it iced, but I do like it. Well, I did Very bring nice. us some glasses of ice so that we could, could maybe try. I have a very dear friend, Edie, who loves the Thai American and she likes it iced. Oh, does she really? Mm -hmm. I think it's just, you know, everybody's different. So mm -hmm. some things I like diced and some things I don't. I think I do like the more fruity uh, teas iced. Mm -hmm. um, Paris of the tea surprised me. I did like that. Mm -hmm. I've been drinking the Prince Panamal Creme de la Glavis and I'm loving some sort of coffee. Mm -hmm. I do too. <laughs> so, Thai American. One of my favorites. Oh, now see, that's good. It's just a nice cup of tea. Mm -hmm. I really get that rich flavor of the black tea. Mm -hmm. And then that wonderful warm cinnamon. It does a hint of the orange. I do think I would drink this one more in a cooler climate, uh, maybe when fall leaves are falling, and mm. maybe uh, somewhere around Christmas I might like to have this one. Mm -hmm. But I have so many to choose from. <laughs> I do have so many to choose from. My tea cabinet at home is growing, growing, growing. Okay, so I'm going to try this one iced just a little bit. I didn't put any milk in it yet. You know what I would like this with? The cinnamon tea. I think that would go good with chocolate too. I agree. Mm -hmm. Now when I ice it, I get less of the cinnamon and more of that really nice black tea flavor. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really nice. Mm -hmm. I sweetened mine first. I didn't try it for any mm -hmm. flavors. I just tried it first. And I'm going to put a little Yes, I like that one. Mm -hmm. So and this is a tea that we've had from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. This yes. has never gone away. But it's from always the at the top. It's always toward the top of mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, I would call it a nice classic. I don't know. A nice classic tea. It says sisters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yummy. Okay. Well, I enjoyed that. And mm -hmm. black tea, you know, we hear a lot about green teas and white teas and pu'ers and longs and, and rooibos. But if caffeine is not an issue for you, there's no reason to not drink black tea. Mm -hmm. That's yummy. Okay, so on to the next one. Chocolate strawberry Sunday. Yes, and you have to see these leaves. Look how pretty. It's even got little cotton candy pieces in there. Mm -hmm. Little tiny, tiny chocolate chips are actual chocolate chips are these. So it's really pretty. And there are strawberry pieces, so this has yeah, the redeeming pink, value. The little pink <laughs> is the strawberry. Very sweet tea. It's a nice black tea. So mm -hmm. let's have some. Okay. And we put it in a pink pot. True. I kind of have a little American thing going on. Blue, pink, and white. This 
one's just a fun to me. I mean, it's the name of it is fun. The taste mm -hmm. is fun. It makes you think of special times when you were a child. And definitely would go into the dessert tea category. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try it without any sugar first. Like saying what? Wow. Let smell, taste that chocolate. I taste mm -hmm. the chocolate right away. I still get a lot of the strawberry. I did too. too. Strawberry was on my lip. <laughs> Your pinky is going to be sticking out. See how it goes out? Mm -hmm. This is making fun of um, the letter, we think. So it's not very appropriate. Mm -hmm. You want to play pretend and play, put your pinky out and talk to little kids and play that game. That's fine. If you have tea at the White House or with the Queen, please don't stick your pinky out. <laughs> pinkies up or pinkies out. Although we have a line called pinkies up, which is adorable. We yeah, love pinkies up. We do up. love the pinkies up line of uh, <laughs> But leave, your, leave your pinky tucked in, please. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so when I oh, add the sugar, drop. Mm. it just changes the profile of it. You taste more strawberry. I do taste right? more of the strawberry, but the chocolate is definitely it's still definitely there. It's definitely there, yes. Okay, so this is probably... One of the teas I'm most excited to add some milk to. Because so, huh. I mean, it probably tastes more ice cream. Mm -hmm. So a funny friend of mine did hashtag mama don't care for cream. <laughs> <laughs> now milk is the appropriate to put in your tea, not cream. Cream is for coffee. Milk is for tea. Oh my word. You like it? The sugar and the cream make it an entire I don't have any tea left. So oh, I'm gonna knock mine over. <laughs> okay. So I add a little bit of the sugar here. We'll just okay. do a little bit. Okay. We, we don't like it. Out of drink it, but we probably shouldn't be doing this right now. Nope. See our cute little cow creamer. Sell <laughs> those here. have more of an ice cream taste. Mm -hmm. It definitely it does definitely more does. of an ice cream taste. I know, so I probably have I think I need more sugar camera. camera. <laughs> well, it's the sugar. Okay, so I'm going to take what I have left and I'm going to put it over the ice. Now that and remember, you should never ever pour from your teacup into a goblet. So we need to put that aside. So for our purposes, we're going to do that. So you can see I added a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we'll add a little <laughs> bit more tea to it. <laughs> this is just sweet milk at this point. Camper tea. <laughs> it's still not a pretty color, but it's a tea color. That's pretty nice ice. This would make a good law tea, I think. Oh, yes. Put a little foam on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we make too. So any of our teas that we have on our menu, if you come into our tea bar, we can turn it into a latte, which is amazing. It would need a cherry too. Ooh, a little cherry in there. Oh <laughs> okay. So our wheels are spinning as you can yeah. see. Okay. I love that. Okay. So I think, well, and we have lots of people who do the story and they tell us how it was Sunday. Mm -hmm. Again, so this one, China Lace White Tea, is one of my favorites. It is definitely on my top 10. And if you notice, the leaves are still very green. Mm -hmm. 
nice and big. They're all rolled and really big. And then there's a star anise and a, a dried raspberry in there and a little seed of something or other. Mm -hmm. Those are little tiny. Oh, my uh -huh. uh, Very pretty, too. So, ginger. So, the flavor profile of the China Lakes is the raspberry and the ginger. But then we see that it's also acidic with the Taiwan and the star anise. Um, and white tea. So, white tea, obviously, is different than black tea and green tea. youngest of the leaves from the camellus anensis bush and they're only withered in direct sunlight that's how they're processed so there's no oxidation um, there's no fermenting there they're dried in the sun and then they're packaged i think that's why you have such a nice big leaf from this particular type of, of white tea yeah. it just doesn't um, build much it's I very know, spicy it. smell Overly raspberry. You get the ginger. I don't know that I necessarily get the star anise in it. Maybe, maybe a little bit of the star anise. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm tasting. And I don't have a really strong green taste either. Really, really. This um, is, is very green. You can tell it's not oxidated. But, um, oh, that's sweet. I love this one. This yeah. one. And I, I could just sip on this all day without any sugar and not feel like I was treating myself with but I know you probably have some eat yours. I did, and it's delicious. <laughs> and I'm putting whole sugar cubes in my little cup here, but I'm taking it out before they're uh, dissolved. Yeah. Oh, I love this. And I, I don't think I would add any milk to a white tea. Not to this flavor no. anyway. I don't know about ginger and milk. I guess I'll try it here. Mm. It does brighten it up a little bit, but if you don't need sugar or you have, um, you know, your other favorite sweeteners, honey would be delicious in this too. Oh, honey really would be good. Yeah. Yum. So we've had the American, oh, I was going to call it American Thai. Thai American, my goodness. What are we going on, like 13 years now? <laughs> so yep. a, a Thai American, I know which order it's in in the alphabet. And then, the next and one then is? our chocolate strawberry sundae. I always mess that one up too. <laughs> chocolate strawberry sundae. She picked them. <laughs> and then my favorite, um, the China Lace white tea. Yes, and of course, white tea still has lots of benefits for you as well. Yes. Um, you know, a little lighter the caffeine. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that we'll talk about eventually. We won't in today's episode, but we'll talk about the caffeine that's in teas. Mm -hmm. um, there's, I feel like there's probably a little bit of confusion about the caffeine that are in different types of the teas. Of course, we know that the rooibos tisane and the Trisha tisane have caffeine free teas, so they have you know, caffeine, natural caffeine free. But white tea would not do that. Okay. Well, I enjoyed all of these. I did too. I think that I would really, I, I must my cup up here. Um, but I think the China Lace would be my spiced. Yes, I think it would too. Mm -hmm. Sweet and nice on a hot day. Oh, ginger is nice. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. I, well, I'm just a ginger it's fan anyway. anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they used to drink ginger water as a way of hydrating themselves. They could just drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it without fear of it, you know, being um, nauseated from drinking too much water in the hot sun. They would drink ginger water. Mm -hmm. Learned that from my sweet little cup of grapes. Oh, well, I want this. are always better almost, yes almost always. very true very true well thanks for joining us for another episode of this is episode four yeah so we have a lot of teas to go we see our tea cells here so three three at a time we'll have lots of episodes and if you all have any questions just include them in the comments and we'll answer them as we can yes. um, and then if you have any particular favorites that you know are on the menu 
she goes through us and maybe we'll skip ahead in our alphabetical order of groups to the same thing. So awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. And remember, you can order all of our teas online at our new online store. It's sistersteacompany.com. And uh, we have everything, all of our teas listed there. Shipping information is there. And we're slowly adding our website information to that too. You can still go to sistersteacolor.com to see our website. Know we're slowly transitioning to our new sisters tea company.com for our website too. But everything is on there for the store. So thanks for joining us and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. And I had to step away to turn off the camera. So you get to see us now. <laughs> <laughs>